Now this is the time speed and distance lesson 4.1. In this, I will continue with questions on train with length as one of the parameters. First case, when two trains A and B are running in same direction and faster train A overtake the person inside the slower train B. Now in such case in cases, sometimes it's very difficult for student to imagine the situation. That's why I have taken a video from YouTube that will really help you to understand this concept. Let's see the video. Here you can see that the train with red engine is the faster train. This train is crossing the person inside that is the person who is making the video. Now you can see that first the driver has crossed this person. Now the train is crossing this person. Now two things to understand. First what is the distance? Now distance traveled by the faster train to cover this person will be equal to length of faster train as the entire length of faster train will cross this person so distance is the length of the faster train what is the speed now you can see that the faster train is overtaking this person very slowly because the, the this person speed is not zero this person is inside the slower train its speed is 60 the person speed the faster train is speed is 80 so faster train speed is extra that is 20 km per hour so by common sense the faster train is overtaking this person inside the slower train with the speed of 20 km per hour that is the relative speed 80 minus 60 so we can simply say that faster train is covering or overtaking this person at a speed of 20 km per hour here you can see that still the train has not crossed this person now the train has almost crossed this person as you can see the cross sign as you will see the cross sign very soon now the train has almost crossed this person this you can see the cross sign of the faster train here is what i have mentioned in the brown distance will be equals to length of the faster train and speed will be latest speed that is 20 km per hour case 2 is when the two trains are running in same direction and a person inside the faster train now the person is now inside the faster train in the first case the person was in the slower train overtake the slower train b speed are again the same now what will happen let's understand with the help of a video here i am showing you the video the two two trains are moving in same direction the person now is in the faster train this person is crossing the slower train that is emu the person in the faster train memu now in each question of TSD three things matter speed distance and time time is not given speed and distance are important in this aspect speed what will be the speed two objects are moving in same direction as you can see this see this speed will be 80 minus 60 this person who is making the video his speed is 80 km per hour because he is in the faster train the speed of EMU is 60 so latest speed is 20 distance traveled by this person to overtake the emu will be equal to length of emu emu as you can see that this person is com have completely traveled the length of slower train so distance will be length of slower train speed will be speed of faster minus speed of slower that is 20 km per hour this is what i mentioned distance covered by a person inside the train a the faster train to cross the slower train length of slower train that is length of b speed is latest speed 80 minus 60 20 km per hour the important thing here was to understand the concept i hope you understood the concept very thoroughly case 3 is when two trains are running in opposite direction and the faster train a crosses the person inside the slower train b now you can see that the train that is coming from opposite direction is a faster train now as in each question of tsd three things are there speed time and distance time is not given speed and dis distance we can discuss the speed will be relative speed that is 80 plus 60 it means that the person the train will cross the person who is making the video with the speed of 80 plus 60 140 kilometer per hour and distance traveled by the faster train to cross is equals to length of the faster train as whenever the train overtook the person distance equals to its own length so speed is 140 
speed was 140 as you can see that speed here i will make the speed is 140 km per hour and distance whenever train crosses a person the distance is always equal to its own length so that was the concept number three here is the fourth concept i have not found any good video for this so i will explain with the help of diagram two trains are running in same direction faster train overtake the slower train now whenever train overtake the another train in the previous three cases i have discussed train versus the person train is overtaking the person in this case i am taking train is overtaking another train now whenever a faster train overtake another slower train b as you can see that faster train i have written faster train a overtake the another slower train b the distance travel distance travel this distance travel is equal to length of both the train very important speed as two objects are moving in same direction speed with which the faster train overtake the slower train will be equals to 20 km per hour i am explaining this with the help of a diagram as i make the diagram this is train b which is traveling at its speed of 60 km per hour train a is following the train b at a speed of 80 km per hour first of all relative speed in this case will be as two objects are moving in same direction 20 km per hour now important thing here to understand speed we discussed what about the distance now overtake will start from point p let's start moving the train a now train has started moving started crossing the train b assuming that train b is also moving here still crossing now at this point the train a has crossed the train b at this point now what is this point this point the train has crossed now what is the distance traveled you can see that distance traveled this distance when the train faster train has over completely overtake the slower train this distance is equals to length of both train this equals to length of a length of train a plus length of train b this distance is equals to length of both the train this is what i want to explain that whenever a slower train over faster train overtake the slower train the distance traveled by faster train to overtake the slower train is length of both the train and relative speed is speed of faster minus speed of slower that is 20 km per hour relative speed of 20 km per hour means that the faster train will overtake the slower train at a speed of 20 km per hour here is case 5 when two trains a and b are running in opposite direction and two train cross each other what will happen now in this case let's this is diagram number one this is diagram number first in this diagram you can see that crossing has not been started a is moving towards the west at a speed of 80 b is moving towards the east at a speed of 60 crossing will start at the point p now second case i have made the after crossing after crossing the train a will reach at this point train b will reach at this point now you can see that the distance traveled by total distance traveled by trains in crossing each other is length of train a plus length of train b and relative speed as two objects are moving in opposite direction will be 80 plus 60 140 so very important whenever two trains cross each other in opposite direction the total distance traveled will be equals to length of both the trains length of train a plus length of train b and relative speed will be 140 km per hour this is the question based on the concept i did just discussed two trains takes 80 seconds to cross each other when traveling in same direction i am taking the case of same direction same direction same direction when two trains cross each other distance traveled is equals to length of both train that is l a plus l b that is the distance travel length of both trains now distance is what distance is speed into time now trains are in same direction so speed will be speed of train faster train s f minus speed of slower train s s distance this distance is speed into time speed with relative speed two objects are in same direction speed of faster minus speed of slower time is given to you 80 second as the speed is slow time will be more 
सेकेंड टाइम्स क्वेश्चन से दैट डेट टेक सिक्सटी सेकेंड टू क्रॉस ईच अदर वेन ट्रेवलिंग इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन डे टेक सिक्सटी सेकेंड टू क्रॉस ईच अदर अपोजिट डायरेक्शन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय ट्रेन विल बी टू अगेन लेंथ ऑफ बोथ ट्रेन वेन द ट्रेक इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो हेयर द कंसेप्ट आई रिवाइजिंग वेदर ट्रेन टू ट्रेन टेक क्रॉस ईच अदर इन सेम और अपोजिट डायरेक्शन डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल विल बी टू लेंथ ऑफ बोथ द ट्रेन बट इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन स्पीड विल बी स्पीड ऑफ फास्टर प्लस स्पीड ऑफ स्लोअर स्पीड विल एड एंड नाउ द स्पीड इज मोर द टाइम विल बी लेस एज गिवन टाइम इज सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स now left hand side of both the equations is same so right hand side will be also equal sf minus ss into 80 will be equals to speed of faster plus speed of slower into 60 here 23 are 24 so you get 4 sf minus 4 ss is equals to 3 sf plus 3 ss so sf is equals to 7 ss so speed of faster upon speed of slower the ratio is 7 is to 1 it means that to the ratio of their speed is 7 is to 1 so in this way you can solve such kind of question in exam in less than 40 seconds just you need to make the two basic equation and find calculate the final answer that was all about lesson 4.1 in the next lesson i will continue with questions on train thank you